Hi, my name is Mark Johnson, Head Professional Paddle Evolution, four-time national champion. The objective of Paddle Evolution is to teach and show you how to become your own coach. In today's video segment, we're working a little bit more with the point of contact, and the theme, what I'm calling it, is finding the ball. Finding the ball is basically meaning the timing, the proper timing, when we're thinking it, about hitting the ball, where, where our racket should be, uh, in relationship with our, a non-dominant hand and the contact position. I'm actually going to do a little uh, lesson here with Mark. So Mark's going to come out over here. Mark's going to be on the baseline. I'm just going to feed him a ball. Mark, this is what I want you to do. We're going to work on tracking the ball and finding the ball. Mark being a right-handed player here, I'm going to feed a ball. Mark's going to actually touch the ball. When I feed the ball, Mark's going to touch the ball with his left hand. Once he touches the ball, and he lets the ball bounce, he's gonna hit it. So it's basically gonna be a touch, bounce, and hit. So, so Mark, yeah, I'm basically gonna feed you a ball, touch the ball to your left hand, let it drop, and strike it. So basically, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna go, touch it with your left hand, bounce, hit, good. Touch, bounce, hit, good. Touch, bounce, hit. So basically what this is, number one, Mark's going to realize how much time he's got between the bounce and the hit. He's tracking it with his left hand. All right, and then once he touches the ball, it's giving him that one continuous movement with the, with the hitting hand. Touch, hit. So he's finding the ball here. He's pointing contact. He's, he's not too far out in front, and he's not for, too far behind. So he's, he's right in front of him. Now, Mark, what I want you to do, you're going to go to the add side. So we can, now we're going to add on. Mark's actually going to hit this, kind of just the follow-up to the touch and the hit, finding the ball. Mark, I, I've got a, I made a triangle over here, a, a green triangle. You're going to stand over here. I'm going to toss the ball. Mark's going to make contact. And when he makes contact with the ball, the ball needs to be inside the triangle with the racket. So when Mark's making contact, the racket and the ball are, are going to be right in the triangle. So this is your striking zone, anywhere in here. So once that ball crosses into the triangle, this is where you're going to make contact. So we're working on finding the ball. So that's going to be your comfort zone. So it's going to look like this. Notice how his racket and ball are meeting together. So... So now you can get that idea of finding the ball. His, his striking zone is going to be the same. So there, crosses over. You notice how it's crossing into the triangle. He's making contact. One more time. Now what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I'm going to purposely speed up the ball. So this, this is a typical thing that happens sometimes when the ball increases the speed. Players think that they need to speed up their swing, they need to rush it, take a bigger backswing. Your stri everything's going to stay the same. You don't have to swing your hands faster. You're just working on finding that ball with the, 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 the racket, with the racket face. So I'm just going to mix up the speed of the ball. All right, your, your swing, the contact's still going to be the same inside the triangle. So it doesn't matter what kind of ball I'm feeding here. That's a medium. This is a medium ball. Okay, a little faster here. Nothing changes. Everything stays inside that triangle. Slow, wait, wait. Even on a slow ball, you're not making the commitment to move too early. Perfect. So, Mark, I don't know if you could, you, you noticed that all you were really focused on now is your, your eyes, the racket hand, and the ball, and, f and what I call finding the ball. Uh, I'd like to add one more thing here okay. is um, this is another drill. Stand behind me here. This just kind of helps you get the feeling of movement, getting your body working together with your hands. Um, I'm going to touch the ball forward. I'm going to touch the ball. When I touch the ball forward, I want you to move forward, and I want you to make contact in this triangle uh, as I feed it forward. So I'm going to touch. You're going to be ready here. So as I touch it, time it. So it's going to go like this. I'm touching the ball out in front. Mark's going to go, and he's making contact. Good inside that triangle. This is just basic to get your feet. Good, one more time. This is a good drill to kind of get your, your feet moving and the togetherness, good, of the body and the racket working together. Yeah. It makes you go to the ball. A lot of times the, the, we let the ball come to us and then we get into a habit of taking that back swings. So it just makes you get that feeling of moving together. Yeah, this was really helpful. Go out with a uh, uh, buddy and do this. This was really helpful, I think. Yeah, exactly. And, and a lot of these drills are also designed where you can go out, 
you know, on your own self-feeding or with a, a buddy or, or, or your friend. Yeah, um, you know, for my forehand, sometimes I take it back here or up here. When you're, when you're here, you know, you can really take it in the, in the right place right in front of you, right? Exactly, and again, I call it finding the ball. Right. Um, we, we hope you're enjoying our videos. We'd love for you to tell your friends about us. Um, we'd love to hear your comments in the commentary box. You can subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscription button. And uh, we hope to see you on the court. Question of the day, uh, what do you think of um, on the point of contact? What are a few things that you're thinking when you're striking the ball? Yeah, and if you're uh, making errors, how are you making those errors? Are you, are you late or are you early? Uh, let us know and we can, uh, we can try to address Yeah, we love to hear your comments and, and we, we respond back to your feedbacks on, uh, on the point of contact. Thanks for the point of right. contact, man. <laughs>